Hello friends, I'm Himanshu Jain, I'm one of the co-founders of the Wall Street School. In the last 13 years, we have trained more than 12,000 students in our flagship investment banking and financial modeling program. One of the things that we have focused in this training is to teach the candidates and make them more efficient and proficient in the usage of Excel. And one of the ways of doing that is to minimize the use of mouse and navigating Excel using certain Excel shortcuts. So in this video, we're going to teach you certain critical Excel shortcuts which are going to increase the efficiency of your usage in Excel. So what you're going to do is you're going to download this file which is there in the description box. Watch it, do it, learn it and in case you find it useful, please share with your colleagues and your friends. So let's get started. content oriented video from the Wall Street School. This video is on basic shortcuts in Excel, something often ignored, assuming we know it all, but till the time we have not applied it, we have not really known it. And once we start using it, it enhances our productivity a lot and it becomes very useful. So how it works in this video? Let you download the files so that you may watch it, do it on your own, pause it, watch it again, do it learn it and if you find it insightful do share with your friends and your colleagues so let's start assuming you have downloaded the file so come to this worksheet called the moment worksheet this one now this part over here is your address bar so and this part over here is your formula bar now this tells me on which cell address you are right now. For example, if my cursor is on cell B5, it tells me that I'm on the Bth column and the fifth row here. Bth column, fifth row. And if I am over here, it tells me that I'm on the Ith column and the fifth row here. And from here, from employee name, if at all I want to reach extreme right, I said control right arrow. I reach extreme right. Control down arrow. I reach extreme bottom. Control left arrow. I reach the downside extreme left. Control up arrow. I complete the circle. Control right, control down, control left, control up. Here you go. Now, in case you want to select this entire row which is highlighted in blue here. So what you say is control shift right you select this range control shift down you select this entire array control shift right control shift down here you go now in case you want to insert certain rows you want to insert certain rows here simply set control shift and plus the plus sign Control shift plus you will be able to insert a particular row. Same thing for columns. Control shift plus you will be able to insert a certain column here. Control shift plus for inserting and in case you want to delete a particular row or a column you say control minus. Control minus you will be able to delete a row or you will be able to delete a column. So for adding a row or a column it's control shift plus for deleting a row or a column it is control minus control key and the minus key you may try that at your end come to the general worksheet here now i have a simple data written over here like this let me write this data again here but slightly in a different way now legibly, which data is better, the left one or the right one? You can make out that this is legibly much better for my comprehension because I've changed the format of this. And how did I do that? Now, for example, for the same data here, I, I added the data with commas and two decimals. The shortcut which I used was, I said Alt plus 
h plus k. What happens because of this is it will give me the data in comma and two decimals by default. Alt plus h plus k. Now in case I want to increase the decimals, I said Alt plus h plus 0. So this is not O, this is 0. Alt h 0. So I said Alt h and 0. I am able to increase the decimals. In case I want to decrease the decimals, I said Alt plus h plus 9. I will be able to decrease the decimals. Let me do it. Alt h 9. Alt h 9 in case I want to decrease it further. If at all I want to convert this into a percentage, I said Alt plus h plus p, p as in percentage. So Alt h k for comma and two decimals by default, Alt h 0 for increasing the decimals, Alt h 9 for decreasing the decimals, Alt h p if you want to convert this data into a percentage. Here you go. So this data gets converted into a percentage. So for example, if at all I want to find out the percentage change here for this data, I simply said I have, uh, you know, if at all I want to find out the percentage here, I simply said that uh, this is nothing but my latest value divided by the first value minus 1. And it gives me 0.25 in decimals, but I want to convert this into a decimal. I said Alt H P, P for percentage. So it gets the data gets converted into a percentage here. I may copy this data and just bring it down. Here you go. It effectively gives me the data in percentage by using the shortcut Alt H P. Sometimes what happens is when you are writing something in Excel, the data comes like hash 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 over here like this. Now this is basically because my data is shrunk somewhere somehow and that's why it's not coming effectively. One way is I can use the mouse and just drag it and this will give me a better picture. The second way without using the mouse is I ought to adjust my column. The shortcut is Alt plus O. So this is not 0, this is O. Alt O plus C plus A. Alt O C A. So once you do that, Alt O C A, it will auto adjust the data in a particular column on its own. Alt O C A. Okay. Now, sometimes what happens is we get very clumsy data once we download from any of the databases. For example, over here, I have this data just download it from one of the databases and on the face of it it's it's not a clean data and it's not aesthetically appealing data so what i'll do is consciously not using the mouse i'm going to clean this data and let you watch the process so here i go first of all now i can see some you know in this sheet here there are no grid lines at the back here there are certain grid lines here there are certain grid lines, here there are no grid lines. Now in case you do not need the grid line, another shortcut before, before I go to this data sheet here, I said Alt plus W plus V plus G, Alt W V G for removing the grid lines and for bringing the grid lines. For example, if I said Alt plus W plus V plus G and what I mean by plus is, you know, you do it one by one. First of all, press Alt then W, then V, and then G. The grid lines will come at the back. You do not want the grid lines, Alt, W, V, G. You remove the grid lines as the case is. Now come to this data here. Suppose I do not need the grid lines at the back. I used Alt, W, V, G. I remove the grid lines. Now I need the headings, but um, this, is, this is not right. I need to insert certain rows and certain columns. So I simply said Control Shift Plus for inserting. This insert tab will pop up here. I want to insert a row, inserted a row here. Control Shift Plus, I in wanted to insert another row. Again, I was able to insert another row. Control Shift Plus, I want to insert a column. 
I was able to insert the column here. So it gives me a space over here. Now, if you look into the headings here, you have name, your city, your last CTC, field of EXP. It's not visible. It's field of experience, but it's not visible, you know, uh, to the naked eye. If I just look into, into this uh, cell here, you have professional and then this word is cut. You have years and this is this word is cut. I want to format this well. Uh, this is this is not right somehow. So what I do is I said alt. Now what happens, I use the alt key. Now all the shortcuts corresponding to the tabs over here, these pop up for me. Now I want to go to the home tab, I said H. So alt and then H. Now first thing first, let me format this headings, this headings here. Now if at all, I need to wrap text, wrap text this so that, you know, I'm able to fit all the content of a cell in a particular cell properly. I said W. Alt H W. So what happens is it fits the content of a particular cell in one proper fitment. So Alt H W. I wrap text this. Now Alt H. This is going to guide me for all the other things which I need to do. For example, I want to centrally align it. I I. So this is this is the shortcut for centrally alignment. I said A C. Alt H A C. I'm able to the content will you know automatically centrally align itself here now suppose i want to middle you know put this content in the middle middle and not uh, in the bottom thing i said alt h now this part over here am this is going to this is going to this is going to guide me with respect to uh, you know putting it in the middle so am alt h am here you go it, it becomes in the middle like this now suppose I want to color this up. I want to color this up. I said Alt H and this is the tab for uh, the colors. I again used H. The color tab will open up and suppose I want to make it dark gray. I'm using the mouse. It's becoming dark gray over here. Here you go like this. And suppose I want to change the font color. I want to change the font color here. Suppose I want to make it say whitish. I said Alt H so so this is the tab for the font color fc font color i said fc here you go so it automatically without using the mouse this this uh, this i'm able to change it and suppose you want to make it into a tabular format uh, you want to make it into a tabular format so you said control shift right control shift down alt h so you need borders here so you need borders so the shortcut is b and in case you need all borders you make it a alt h b a now the same data just that it is a little more clean as as what it was earlier so let me sort of write down all the shortcuts uh, so that you remember what all i have done here first thing was i said control plus shift and then the plus sign for inserting of the rows and the columns as the case may be then i did alt plus h plus w this was for a wrap text fitting it into a particular cell then i did alt plus h plus a m sorry for ac this was for central al centrally aligning the data centrally aligning then i did alt plus h plus am i was able to middle align this middle align then i did alt plus h plus h this was for opening up the uh, the tab for the cell color then I did Alt plus H plus FC. This is for the font color tab. You can choose the colors which you want. And then I did Alt plus H plus B. This was for opening up of the border tab. And uh, you know, if you wanted all borders, I said B and then A. So A was for all the borders. So if I said, if at all, I said Alt H B. 
so it opens up everything here and suppose you want a double uh, bottom double border uh, so you said odd hb and then again b you want uh, you know a top border you said odd hb and then p as the case is so this this guides us and as we start using more excel uh, you know automatically it will sort of ramify in your uh, in your minds and you'll uh, without using these shortcuts you'll be able to you know just maneuver between your different uh, excel sheets and the different shortcuts that you may want to use similarly when i when i showed you the initial shortcuts of alt h uh, alt h k so it was the same thing which was over here so alt h k was for comma by default the data comes in comma two decimals alt h p was for alt h percentage alt h zero was alt h and then this zero and alt h nine for what was for decreasing the decimals that's the case is Similarly, in case you want to use conditional formatting, so Alt H and L, that is the conditional formatting here. So if at all I am on this data here, I'm on this data, I'm on this sheet, the raw data sheet here, and I am given North, East, South, East, West, and the totals are given here. And suppose I want to format this data, I want to make it better. So how do I do that? So and consciously I'll do it without using the mouse. So this total is the sum of uh, the sum of uh, all these four tabs here. So what I do is I first of all maybe select using using the arrow keys I select this range. I said Alt H H. I make it a dark color. This one Alt H H. I make it slightly lighter color. I select this part. I select this part here. I select the numerical uh, data here. Alt H K. By default, the data comes to me in comma and two decimals. You want to decrease the decimals? I said Alt H nine. By default, the data will come into uh, you know single decimal for you, and you want to sum this up. So you simply said sum of the data here and drag it. Control C, shift and right arrow and control V. Here you go. And suppose you want to underline, uh, underline the totals. So you select this range here, Alt H b and suppose you want to underline this you maybe said c this will give you a thick you know uh, at the downside okay and suppose you also want to uh, have a line over here because this this should segregate here so you said alt h b and on the right hand side this part r here you go Alt H B R, so you are able to segregate this downside. Okay, so hope you find this insightful. We'll continue more of these content-based videos in the onwards videos. So do keep a check on the Paul Street School YouTube channel. Thank you.